Well, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the hidden control settings on your Free Sky e bike. So, I got the Swift Horse in front of me, and this is very easy to do. All I have to do is hold down the plus and the minus icon at the same time. So, when I do this, it's going to bring open this menu. And make sure you're holding down the brakes or something so the bike doesn't go flying on you. But hold plus and minus at the same time, it'll bring you to this screen. Now there's going to be a bunch of different settings under here, like uh, P1. And if you do have to type in a bunch of numbers on the bottom here, uh, just type in 1313 and you should be able to access this menu. So I have this small list of a bunch of things. I don't know if it's possible to see this, but it's kind of hard. I'll focus my camera. So the first one will be the backlighting. The second one will be kilometers or miles per hour. The third one is like uh, your battery voltage, so you probably don't want to mess with that. Uh, number four is display auto sleep. Number five, you might want to go ahead and increase the uh, levels of pedal assist. So you can go to zero to five to seven, or you can get up to like nine different levels of pedal assist. And then number six is your tire dynamometer. Number uh, seven is speed of sensors. Uh, eight is speed limit. So maybe I'll change that just to have some fun to see if that does anything. Uh, number nine is zero start, engage the motor. So a lot of these I'm probably not gonna mess with. Number 10 is drive mode, pedal assist. Uh, but right here, uh, number 12, pedal assist strength. So I think I'm gonna try adjusting that to number five. It was on three by default. And then you can reset your odometer by going to 16. And go to number zero one, and you should be able to reset it. So that's just a quick little menu. Most of these you aren't going to want to mess with, but some of them you might want to. So just hold this down. I'm holding on my brake too. Then you can go up, and let's go to number five. So you might want to do this. Definitely, actually, want to add more levels of pedal assist, just because you can fine tune it in between. Um, you know what it was previously so you can go like in between 10 and 15 you can go 13 miles per hour so once you have this highlighted press i and then it'll select the bottom one here and you can go up or down now and then you can choose an option so to get the option to save just press the i button and then the top's going to blink then turn it off and turn it on and you can see your different levels of power assist so let's see the other one i was looking at was um what was it option number 12 was increase the level of pedal assist or like uh, the strength of it so let's go to this and go to 12 and then press i so i have it on five right now it's raining out so i'm not going to try out my bike but just select it and change it to five, and maybe maybe that's gonna be a little bit stronger, gives you a little bit more torque, going up hills and stuff, or when pedaling into the wind. So I'm gonna to have to wait and see. And what was the other one, the speed limit one? I think I might play around with that one, just see. But typically on this bike, I max out around like 41 miles per hour. I have an unlocked speed controller, so it shouldn't really matter. So where is this one? Speed limit in cam. So that would be option number eight. Let's just go to that and see what that means on here. All right, so option number eight, it says speed limit is 63. So let's go plus, does this do anything? So we can go down, but we can't go up. So the fastest that we can go supposedly on this bike in terms of just having it recorded is 60. Uh, two miles an hour which i think is plenty fast you shouldn't be going faster than that on this if you went that fast on this bike it'd be probably uh, very traumatic because it's not a big bike it's not a motorcycle but hopefully this video did indeed help you out did leave a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below